you've been following what's been happening in the Tekken world for the last 10 years. You motherfuckers have been rivals forever. You know that Arslan Ash and me have an ongoing story rivalry that always ends up with these guys battling at a tournament, an exhibition, a team battle, whatever the case. But these are two of the strongest Tekken players in the world. And now they're facing other uh, each other again in Tekken 8 here at Combo Breaker. I wonder how this is going to shake out because since Tekken 7 is so much more defensive than this game, and they're both like very highly defensive players. So I wonder how they're going to pull this off. I wonder whose offense can be more oppressive since the game has changed somewhat. This is a big one, so y'all gotta, you really got to let me know. If you guys would like the legend need to take it, make some noise! I like the engagement. That don't sound, that didn't sound like the room, though. You have another champion, another new era legendary champion. Make some noise if you would like Arslan Ash to take the set. Ooh, it's, it's, a, right it's, it's a bit, it's, it's a little even. It's a little even. Be a crazy one no matter what. Arslan Ash, like you said before. Both of these it's funny because I remember, uh, I think Arslan and me was complaining about Tekken 8 to some extent about the game being much more different. And I remember them almost being frustrated by it and they just like accepted the challenge of being more offensive. I forgot, I remember that was like a thing like two months ago, right around patch time. I think I remember both of them saying that. I think Arslan said it first and he had his back on it. So it's kind of funny to see them here against each other. Brian and Anna. Somebody's going home. One of the champs are going home. Oh, the down so you're going to be more offensive. The dash blocks in the grill is crazy. Uh, why is my videos not 60 frames per second? They are. I think my, uh, I think my old capture card is starting to, starting to die out. I got a new one. I just ain't, I just ain't opened it up yet. I got the 4KX right here, Bucko. I bought it Tuesday. I just ain't hooked it up yet. Still my HD 60s plus. The evil arena where all the bad guys hang out. But I didn't have that car for like four or five years, so I think it's just starting to die out. Using a lot of strings, finds the launch. You're in a dangerous area of the arena. I can tell you that. I don't think he's getting the hazard here. He does it just slightly misses it. Knee check goes towards the shoot. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Oh, that's he death. Barely even doesn't make it. Arson ties it up. One round of peace. Appreciate you, my boy. Mmm. That's been getting teched all day. That one plus two. They really tech all the throws in the world. Like, you really don't see many throws in tournament play at all at this level. I, I barely see any throws land. Everything gets tech, see? They tech every fucking thing. I think they just do it just to keep that element on your mind. Oh, okay. They still playing hella defensive like it's taking seven. It's funny watching them because they so legacy. I teched it again. They still play super defensive Tekken. Very low committal. A little bit of jab here and there. Good step. He dead. Good step. That's the third dimension. That's the third dimension. This is a 3D fighting game. Okay. Launcher. Oh, explosive wall behind him. That's it. That's the hazard for sure. Oh, he didn't get it. I thought he was gonna get the hazard. Arsenal looking real good, right? Oh, he landed a throw. I just said no throws ever land. He finally landed one. Remember, this is for survival here at Cap. <laughs> the funny thing about Tekken at this level is that you would have a match like that where Arsenal look dominant, and then the next match, and he had come right back and 3 0 his ass. Man, did Arsenal just drink the whole bottle? Yo, I mean, look, drink your water. Oh, another banger of a song right here. Here we go, game two. Oh, oh throws being landed now. I jinxed it. Step. Beautiful side step right to Marshall. The side step cast from Nina as well. Super effective here. Oh. Challenge with the one two one. Two plus four playing back a long range game right there. Marshall not giving him. Marshall looking real good right now. He's looking sharp as hell. Super tight and he get clipped. The body smoke. 
That's a death. Oh. Yeah, they movement be insane. That's why I enjoy it the most. When I was fighting at uh, God of Destruction Raven the other day, that's why I noticed more than anything else. It was just the movement be crazy. That's why I be trying to get my movement to. Brian be bringing that damage, boy. Good step. If you step that move, the second hit of the gun still track you, and I think that's so dumb. I stepped the Nina the other day, and then, like she missed the kick. Oh, you got baited. You got baited. You got baited. You got baited. Yeah, I stepped the Nina the other day who did that heat smash, and the kicks miss, and then she flipped sideways, and the gun still tracked me. I couldn't believe that shit. Man, the counter pokes are really starting to add up. Oh. Oh, pop heat, pop heat. You popping it? Look at all the tornadoes that everybody else get that. Like, Lord do not get tornadoes like that at all. Two tornadoes and then the actual heat pop. That's crazy. I mean, granted, I love my boy, but still. He cooking. He cooking. Arsenal look real good right now. That's death. He ain't blowing his lead. He ain't blowing his lead. Damn. He, he cooked him. All right. So who he playing? He playing Ak? Is he playing AK? Uh-huh. I could have got more.